hi family welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you for watching again and it is still me gloria today we're going to be talking about the things i think everyone you myself including whoever is going through some of those things we should try to stop in 2021 enough is enough we've been trying to stop all these things or we've had a lot of excuses not to stop this or not to drop this in the past years now we've got another opportunity it's a new year is a new opportunity for us to drop all these things in 2021 and begin to focus and let's live a better happier life the first i'm going to say is procrastination are you the type that you always put everything you want to do in the future i'm going to do this later on i'm going to lose weight next month i'm going why can't you just start it now why can't you just sit up start it from there, you know you've already started and once you're started, you're going to be motivated to finish it. So stop that procrastination. If you're thinking of starting a channel, start now. Don't procrastinate. You'll want to lose weight. What are you waiting for? This is an opportunity for you to start and achieve that goal. Do you know you can be in your required weight before the end of this year? Do you know you can achieve that? And do you know you can save enough to either pay your mortgage, pay your debt? You can start that school today. You, you can achieve a lot before the end of this year. This is an opportunity for you to start, start and start. Stop procrastinating. You want to live healthy. Stop procrastinating. You want to lead that toxic relationship. Stop procrastinating. You want to start a YouTube channel. If you don't start now, when are you going to start? Start today. Stop procrastinating. Not loving yourself. If you're the type that in the past years you put people first, some of us will say, my family come first. Remember, you're also part of that family. Once your family come first, are you also a part of your family? If you're also a part of your family, then you should remember you need to love yourself. Love yourself. Don't put people before you. Don't put anything before you. Nothing should be more important. If you don't love yourself, there's no way you're going to be able to love others. You shouldn't take others' opinion what others want you to be. They want you to be slim. They want you to be fat. They want you to be tall. They want you to be lighter. They want you to be dark. What is important is you. Put yourself first. Love yourself. If you love yourself, you will be conscious of your health. If you love yourself, you will be conscious of the people around you. If you love yourself, you want to progress in life. If you love yourself, you you will begin to pursue that aspiration because then you know your joy, you know your satisfaction, you know you are the first. So being successful in life will be more easy if you put yourself first. Not deleting those people in your life that are toxic. Not stopping that toxic relationship, that toxic boyfriend, toxic partner, toxic husband, toxic wife, toxic work, going to work and you're feeling anxious, going to work and you're feeling, what am I going to do today? You're not motivated to go to work because of how stressful it's going to be you know when you're under stress you're releasing stress hormones hormones that will make you look older make you look frustrated hormones that can get you depressed why do you want to sacrifice your life just because of your job just because you want to make somebody happy just because you don't want to break somebody's heart start deleting those toxic relationships in your phone sometimes, you know, there are times where you want to just eliminate contacts you don't want, those applications you don't want, you want to clean out. Before the end of the year, some of us, we have this ritual of cleaning the whole house, taking out the old clothes, changing it, cleaning out our wardrobe. That is the same thing we should do with our mind, with our heart. We should learn to eliminate those things, those things that are not bringing positivity to our lives. We should learn to clean out our contacts, our brain, some of those grudges you've got. We have to eliminate those things to have enough space for better things, for better future, for a happy life. So try to make sure in this year 2021 and the years to come, you always put in on the practice of eliminating those toxic things. Those things you think are not putting positivity to your life. Those contacts you have on your phone that each time you see them, they give you anxiety, they make you panic. Eliminate those things. Stop setting unrealistic long-term goals. What I mean is, when you set unrealistic goals, first is you're not going to be able to achieve those things. When you start trying to pursue that dream, it's going to be very difficult and discouraging. And if they're so long, long-term goal, like in the, in the next 10 years, is a lot of time. If you set those goals, there's time for you to say, don't worry, the next year I'm going to start, or two or three more years I'm going to start because I've got 10 years goals anyway. So start with goals that are achievable and looks realistic, even though they're difficult. For instance, I want to lose 10 kg. I'm not going to say I'm going to lose 10 kg in five years. If I say I'm going to lose 10 kg in five years, it will give me the chance to say, oh, I've got two more years to even start. I've got two more years before I start eating early. But if I say I'm going to lose just, let's say two kg, 
in the next two months, then I know I've got a goal, it is achievable, and it is not too long. I've got just two months to achieve that goal and to give me the urge to start pursuing that dream or that goal very soon because I know I've got limited time. Don't set unrealistic long-term goals for yourself. If they are too long, there's tendency that you will not be motivated. There are other things in life that you can set as long-term goals, but let it be realistic. Stop overthinking everything. Stop overthinking it. If you overthink it, then you're going to, in your brain, you set out some scenarios that are not even applicable to your life that may not even ever happen. For instance, you want to start a YouTube channel and in your head, you're like, what if people don't like the way I talk? What if they don't like the way I look? What if they don't like my color? What if they don't like my accent? In your brain, you're just overthinking everything. But remember, it is just in your brain. If you don't do it, if you don't let it come to reality, then you're not able to understand people's opinion. And even when the opinion comes, if it's not relevant to your life, remember, learn to edit it, learn to forget about it. Let's learn to just ignore some of those things. Stop overthinking everything. Sometimes I want to make video. I want to just, if 10 minutes video will take me like two days to think, I'm thinking how I want to set my scenario, what I want to talk about, how I want to dress, I want to do my makeup. You're just thinking and thinking at the end of the day, you're going to be frustrated and you're just going to ignore it. You will not achieve it. You will not just make it come to pass because you're overthinking it in your mind. But once you set your heart to just start it, do it, prepare. I'm not saying you shouldn't prepare. Prepare, get your, do your background assignment a little bit in summary and just start it. Once you start before you know it, we didn't all learn to walk in a day. We didn't learn to talk in a day. We didn't learn to be perfect. We didn't learn to do whatever we are doing in a day. It takes time. If we don't start it, if you don't start that YouTube channel and begin to create videos, even though they're horrible, even if your voice is bad, if you're, you don't, you're not carrying the good personality that others want you to carry, if you're not speaking the way they want you to speak, as long as you're doing it, you will begin to learn and understand that you need to improve on this. If you don't do it, there's no way you're going to be perfect. Practice the same makes perfection, right? So if you don't start it and you're just overthinking it in your head, in your head you've already thought about how people will tell you they don't like you, you've already thought about how people will, will say negative things against you, just in your head. What if it never happens? How will you be sure it will happen if you don't even give it a try? So stop overthinking everything. Nobody on it is perfect. We are all learning and we must learn by mistake or from the mistake of others. Stop overthinking it. Stop wasting too much time on irrelevant things. For some of us, it's maybe our phone for instance, TikTok, it can be addicting. The moment I start on TikTok, I just want to just go to TikTok and just watch like one minute. The next one, ah, you still see me, I'm still on TikTok, scrolling and scrolling. And that is what those who own TikTok or those who own those sites that you're addicted to, that is what they want. They want to keep you in. YouTube can also be addicting. Anything in life, too much of everything they say is bad. Whatever is wasting your time. If whatever you're doing is not adding value to your life, it's not making you happy, it's not giving you any benefits, stop overdoing it. Before you know it, you'll just wonder what you've done with your years. Days will roll into weeks, weeks will roll into months, and months will roll into years. At the end of the day, you have nothing to show or you're going to be regretting your hours you've spent. Maybe the time you're supposed to be reading your book, you're on TikTok, watching fun thing or watching things that are irrelevant. It's, I'm not saying social media is bad because I'm, I love social media. I've learned a lot of things. Most of the things, even this YouTube I'm starting or this YouTube I'm into, I learned it from YouTube, right? I learned it from social media. You can learn things on social media. There, there's nothing on it that you cannot do if you really set your heart to do it. You can even be educated on social media. You can learn skills. There are lots of things you can do on social media, but what are you doing with your time? Are you spending time with people who doesn't have value to your life? What are you doing with your time? Are you hanging out with people who do not add value with to you, who do not have the same thing mentality with you, they don't think the way you're thinking, they always put you down, then you should, I think you should start cutting those time you spend with them. Spend valuable time with yourself, spend valuable time with your family, spend valuable time with people that we add positivity to your life, spend valuable time on things that you think will, will promote to improve you and make you a better person. Stop wasting your time. This year, please, we need to stop overworking. 
I'm not saying you should be lazy because I'm one hard-working person. When I'm at work, I'm working. I work 12 hours a day. Sometimes I don't even remember to take my break. That break you're not even paid for, but you just keep working and working and working. Your stress hormone is at the highest peak. You begin to look older. You know, you're stress eating. You get fatter. You begin to lose interest in your life. Everything you think about is going to be work. You're exhausted. Going into work is only when you've got the energy. You've not got the energy for your family. You've not got the energy for yourself. You've not got the energy to improve yourself. The only thing you do is go to work back home, work, back home, work, back home. All the extras in your workplace, your name is on there. You want to do everything and all the money. You want to work, work, work. Remember, your body is the engine. Just put yourself like, your body is just like a car, a brand new car you've got that you think you want to use it. You use it and drive it, drive it. Each time is working non-stop, is working non-stop. One day, that car is going to be tired and it's going to worn out. That is how your body is. Those stress you're accumulating now is going to reflect in your old age. When you grow older, you begin to see the effect of all the hard labors or all the overworking you've had. You've not had time to even spend the money you're earning, take care of yourself. You've not had time to even relax. You've not had time to even think back, reflect at how far you've come. It is just work, work, work. I inclusive, this year, we all need to take a rest. This year, we all need to sit back, breathe in, and just rest. And stop overworking. Because if you die today, or if something bad happened to you today, that work will continue. The, your boss is not going to shut down his company. He's not going to shut down his company because you're not there. So you need to stop, stop Stop overworking yourself. Stop overworking your organs. Stop overworking your system. Drink more water. Exercise. Take care of yourself. It doesn't have to be anything serious. Make up your mind. What do you want to achieve this year? Do you want to go back to school? Go back to school. Do you want to start online lesson? Do online training? Do you want to earn a skill? Go on YouTube, go on social media and learn those things. Improve yourself. A happy person comes from your mind. Remember, you are who you are, you are what you are. Don't be the enemy of yourself. Don't be the enemy of your body. Take care of yourself. This year, this new year, make sure you are your own first priority. Take care of yourself. Before you go, please remember to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell, and I will see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.